Hi, my name is Devakar Kinra, and I'm an endodontist practicing in Flint, Michigan. You know, there are several operation methods, and we all develop preferences in our practices, which is great. I'd like to show you a couple recent cases where I use two different methods I'm comfortable with, both providing excellent outcomes. You'll see the preparation on both teeth were done with a ProTaper Gold sequence. This system I find very reliable with great flexibility, allowing me to predictably treat a wide variety of cases. Let's look at these two cases. Tooth number 15 presented with pain to percussion, recurrent caries, and the tooth had prolonged sensation to pain to cold. The pain rating from the patient was a seven out of 10. In the radiograph, I also noted that there was a pulp stone in the chamber and highly curved canals. My diagnosis was symptomatic irreversible pulpitis and acute apical periodontitis. I located three canals post access. For shaping, I use hand files to a number 10, a pro glider, glide path file, and a pro taper gold, including the SX orifice opener. I use pro taper gold files specifically in this case because of the high canal curvature. For irrigation, I used sodium hypochlorite, activated it for one minute with the endo activator, dried that, used two milliliters of Q-mix and activated that for one minute and dried it with paper points. I then went ahead and sealed it. I obturated using continuous wave vertical obturation method. I also used matching pro taper gold gutter percha due to the patient's gag reflex and I wanted to expedite that portion of the treatment plan. The Pro Taper Gold matching gutta percha fit perfectly the first time and matched better than any other gutta percha I have ever used. I can't recommend it highly enough. Here's a post-op. I actually referred the patient back to the GP for crown later in the afternoon. Recently, I encountered another tricky case with a high radius of curvature in the mesiobuccal canal. Fortunately, gutta core came to the rescue and I was able to obturate the canal successfully. The patient came in with a chief complaint of pain to biting and a dull ache in the upper right. Exam of the patient revealed pain to percussion and biting, but with no response to cold. My diagnosis was a necrotic pulp with symptomatic chronic periodontitis. It was difficult to obtain straight line access. The patient felt extreme fear and the access was quite limited. Post access, I located three canals. This was also confirmed with a cone beam provided to me by the referring general dentist. I scouted with a 10C file, and then I opened up the coronal third with a Pro Taper Gold SX. I continued to negotiate the working length and hand files and with rotary path files. Lastly, due to its difficult curvature, I decided to create the final shape with the Pro Taper Gold. The palatal canal and distal buccal canals were fairly straightforward. In the mesobuccal canal, however, it was possible to negotiate the apical third with a rotary file due to the extreme curvature and either blockage or ledge in the canal. I noted in my master cone radiograph that I was short of working length. So I hand filed, soaked with sodium hypochlorite and used the end of activator. I soaked some more with Q-mix and then used paper points to dry the canals. I knew that my heated plugger was not going to heat the apical third within the canal. I decided that heating the gutta percha outside of the mouth and then delivering it via a carrier would be the obturation method of choice. So I decided to use the heat and hydraulics of gutta core, a size 25, to obturate the case. You know, there's several reasons why I chose to use gutta core. One of the most important concepts when obturating the canals is that we want to thermoplasticize the gutta percha in the apical third. There are two ways to heat gutta percha either inside the tooth with a heated plugger or outside the tooth in an oven and then brought into the canal via a carrier. Now, when would you choose to use a carrier? Well, many people choose to use it on every case, which I'm fine with that, as long as the cleaning and shaping have been done properly and a radiograph has been taken to confirm the size verification to working length. Other indications to use a carrier are long canals, skinny canals, highly curved canals, why, you may ask, the reason being is if your heat source does not reach into the apical third of the last five millimeters of the canal, then you are not plasticizing the gutta percha. Therefore, I would choose to heat the gutta percha outside the tooth and then carry it into the canal. Now, remember when inserting the gutta core, it is not a hot potato, it's not a javelin. You need to have an insertion rate of about five to seven seconds. At this slower rate, this assures that the gutta percha is distributed into all the vectors, allowing for even distribution 
into all the deltas, fins, and anastomoses of the canal. Once out of the oven, there's plenty of time for the insertion, so take it slow, not fast. Now, as you see, I've presented a couple of cases in different ways to get excellent outcomes in obturation. When you're doing a lot of root canals, I think you can see it's good to let the case guide you in the method of obturation, which means it's also important to be ready for anything. Mm -hmm.